Hi everybody, I'm Jack. This is Raw Tropical Living. Just back from the beach having a little uh, bowl of uh, banana ice cream. Or actually a pretty big bowl. That's probably about 10 bananas. Mm. With some cacao nibs on there. Now before any of the zealots give me information one way or the other on cacao, I don't believe in cacao as a superfood, as one of your prominent religious leaders does. And I don't believe uh, cacao is the devil, like many of your religious leaders do. It's just a little treat that I have on my ice cream every once in a while. Anyway, the topic of today is, I'm always one I try to be because I'm a little slow, so I have to be ahead of the curve. You think a little bit ahead. If you remember, I was one of the ones, I did a video on the dangers of the holidays, like I think back around um, Halloween. Most people don't think about it that ahead of time, and they are in the moment, and then uh, it's too late. Well, I know you're still in pretty cold weather in North America. Actually, you're about to get a blizzard right now in some parts of the country, so... You're probably not thinking about bathing suit weather. And actually, right now is the time you should be thinking about bathing suit weather. you got plenty of time. Well... You got a short blast if we're talking. If you guys are younger and you're looking for spring break, yeah, you don't have as much time. But you know, in a lot of places that people in North America go, spring break is not super bathing suit season because I know in Florida it still can be pretty chilly then. So let's think more on the summer. You know, as we get over into May, June, the North starts freezing out. You start going to the beach everywhere. You're going to be ready to show off that hot new bikini, ladies. Man, are you going to be able to take your shirts off at the beach and be comfortable with it? Well, now it's the time to start on that. Because if you start doing something now for the summer, and I know this one goes in the face of kind of like on a vanity thread, because I'm, I'm, you know, I always tell you do this for the health. How you look will work itself out if you do it for the health. But sometimes we have to appeal to that vanity in people, don't we? Because we are human anyway. But if you were to get started now, think about it. You get started um, eating better, eating a cleaner plan now, watching what you eat. Um, eh, I won't get into particulars because that could be, you know, there's many different videos on the particulars. Uh, some people, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna have to eat plenty. Basically what I'm leading up to is, I don't wanna, I know what, I know what will happen more practically. Most people will wait till the last moment. They'll wait till it's right before the summer. And then all we're going to see is the challenges and the cleanses. Now, I'm not against those 100%, but if you guys notice, there's a repetitiveness in my theme a lot of times about, I just, they're just, these gimmicks, I just prefer to see people get, like, have a solid plan, a solid plan of nutrition instead of always falling back on these little 30-day quick fixes that can, you know, they're going to drop a lot of weight, they're going to get you all cleaned out in 30 days, but... Eventually, you have to learn how to live in the real world, and, and the real world means eating. I don't, you know, all I'm talking about is eating. You can't live on these, uh, these little fast and feast and cleanses and what have you all the time. In a lot of cases, I think it's avoidance with people. Like, they're not ready to get down to the real work of, you know, digging in and learning how they're going to have to eat for the rest of their life. It's just easy to go on, even though physically it may be somewhat difficult. Mentally, it's easy just to, you know, okay, I'm not learning that much, I just do this. Quick weight loss, quick cleanses, quick this, quick that is not the key. It's not the key to long-term success, and the best it's going to do is going to give you um, temporary results. Um, so... Think about it. What are we at? What are we today? 26, 27th of January? You've got February, March, April, May. I'm old fashioned. I like to think of summer as June, July, and August because when I was a kid, that's when we would get out. We would, uh, we would get out right before Memorial Day and we'd go back to school right after Labor Day. So for me, June, July, and August has always been summer. And I think in North America, that's a traditional uh, holiday period. A lot of people going to the beach. So. February, March, April, May. Right now, if you want to say, let's say, shoot a date for, say, Memorial Day, more or less. you got about four months until Memorial Day. Now, if there's weight to be lost, 
you could lose a good, I mean, you know, I don't know how much weight there is, but even if there's a substantial amount of weight to be lost, I mean, I see all these big numbers sometime, and, you know, when you've got a lot, you know, maybe 100 pounds or more, or maybe you're maybe even up in the 70s, 80 pounds is to lose, okay, I don't think there's a big problem with having some big numbers initially for a while, but overall, I think a good rate of losing weight, for, I've always thought this, before this lifestyle, so I'm not going to change it now, a good w rate of losing weight is two pounds a week, three pounds a week tops. Now, let's say, let's say two and a half pounds, let's go, let's, let's meet in the middle there. If you could lose two and a half pounds a week, or average losing two and a half pounds a week, for the next four months, I'm just going to break four weeks into a month and then four months, but you would lose about 40 pounds. And that would probably be 40 pounds of flab. A lot of water would come off, but at, at, at that rate, a lot of it would be flab, and you're going to notice a big difference. Now, if you're, if you're obese or if you have a lot to lose, um, yeah, you could do some things to accelerate in the beginning, you know, like, and always the body, you know, you're going to slow down that, that rate of losing weight. Um, so as you go over time, but in the beginning, you might be able to pull off some weeks with uh, four pounds this week, five pounds this week. So let's say you did a jump start, or let's say you were a little bit more motivated, or and just your body was ready to drop that weight. And in the first month, say you lost 15 pounds in the first month. Well, then that's just bonus. But you could easily, healthily. And in a way that would leave you a little bit tighter, would leave less hanging and jiggling, and would probably give your skin more time to adapt over the next uh, four months. If you could lose 40 pounds, that'd be quite a feat. Now, maybe you don't need to lose weight. Uh, maybe you just just want to tone up and look a little bit better in that bathing suit this year. Um, the cleaner eating. The cleaner eating is going to help that. I mean, if you're eating clean, you're going to have nice looking skin. There's nothing worse than seeing, no matter how good she looks, than seeing, or he, he looks, <laughs> seeing a good, a good hot body on the beach that has back me, has all this breakouts on their skin. So, you know, don't think about just the weight. Think about how your skin will look uh, once the summer comes. Um, if you're not overweight, you might want to start a program now. It's going to tighten up what you got. Maybe you've only got a few pounds to lose. You want to lose those pounds, but maybe you want to tighten up. You have a little bit less jiggle this uh, this summer. Now's the time to do it. Now's the time to do it. Only you can decide like what your program, what your goals are going to be. But I just like to stay a little bit ahead of the curve. You know you're going to be talking about this um, in a few months, so why wait till the last minute? And the side the side on this is is um, you know, we have to appeal to people where they are and what they're interested in. Um, the reason I don't mind talking about the weight loss sometime is because, okay, if you do it the right way, you're going to be healthy and it's going to be a win-win situation either way. Um, I still say, though, you're going to get more success in the long run if you focus on your health instead of uh, losing weight, what you look like. That's where it all comes from. I mean, we can do fake, th false things. Um, I mean, I can lose weight anytime, just like that. I can gain weight, I can lose weight. Well, it's harder to gain weight, but losing weight's really not that much of a trick. I mean, you can do any sort of number of things to lose weight, but is it gonna be sustained? How are you gonna look when you lose that weight? Two, two people, two different people can each lose 10 pounds, and, it, and, and not that they're that big, different in size. They can almost start off similar, both lose 10 pounds, one looks a whole lot different than the other. Why is that? Well, it's because one has done it a sensible way and one has not. Um, take me, for example. I was telling somebody the other day, um, I, I kind of wish that I hadn't lost a single pound once I came to the raw vegan lifestyle because I had already, I just, I'd gotten pretty healthy. Uh, I wasn't vegan or anything, but I had already I guess what I'm trying to say is by the time I came to the raw vegan lifestyle, I had lost a good bit of weight on what I was doing. And if I'd have stayed, I was pretty buff back then. But um, 
you know, I didn't, the weight just started dropping off, dropping off, dropping off, and I didn't look so good. Like, even now, I have areas where there's a little bit of, uh, you know, skin and a little bit of looseness and whatever, and that's all because I just dropped so much, some of that weight so quickly. So, that's going to be an issue. That's something for you to think about when you're, as you're losing weight and as you're developing a plan, um, is the aftermath. I mean, I know when you're fairly large, I know when you got a lot to lose, you're probably just thinking, I just want to get this weight off of me, but... If you think, if you plan a little bit ahead of time, if you think about how you're going to lose it, and you don't necessarily do these drastic things where you're going to lose, say, a hundred pounds in three or four months, um, you're going to look and feel a lot better when you get to that target weight, and that target weight is going to look a lot different than it um, would if you did, you know, if you were just starving yourself, did some sort of gimmick, um, and just dropped the weight too fast. Anyhow, this one's kind of rambling too, isn't it? I like to ramble a good bit. Back out in the rancho. Real quick, I'll pan around here before I, I finish this video and just show you my, my digs here. Nothing fancy, kind of caveman like I do. But anyhow, I'm going to finish this one up. But like I said, this one was just more to get in your head instead of specifics. It's cold right now. Blizzards are coming, but the summertime and the bikini season, bathing suit season for men will be here before you know it. And with anything, always think ahead. Don't wait to the last minute to do everything. I mean, you know, that's how I used to do it in college. Jesus, I'm, it's amazing I uh, graduated as much as I went to the last minute. Think about it now. Start making steps. Start visualizing yourself uh, how you're going to look this summer then make a plan, then stick to your plan. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. And I'm gonna pan around real quick and show you the rancho. All right, I've moved some of my stuff out here. Got my banana, I made, got my juicer that I made my banana ice cream with this morning. It's just simple, but you see, I got a lot. Of, you know, I think I may have done a video in my kitchen before. I got a lot more kitchen top, countertop. Got a few store drawers for storage. I'm keeping it pretty light out here because there's the kitchen still inside. I can grab stuff. I keep a cutting board. I still use an old uh, dull knife um, and a couple of utensils out here. I've got my blender and a shelf because it is outside. I don't think anybody will steal it, but. And then, let's see, I'll pan back a little bit more. Or no, I may need to go from this way. See, I've got a nice big table here. Oh, there we go, that's a good angle. That's a good angle on my rancho. So you got a little table there. Actually a pretty big table. Got a nice cushiony chair to sit in. And then got my countertop. Shoot, I can turn this thing. I just need to get a little bit more privacy in the yard there. I don't know if you can see, but there's a sh outside shower here. There's also a restroom there. So anyhow, this is my outside summer rancho, my summer home. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you soon. Peace.